Hi all, today I am going to explain about data binding in Angular 12. So what data binding is? So it is nothing but a communication. So you can think about a communication between two things. Okay. So in our Angular applications, you are aware that we will write a business logic in the TS that is the TypeScript file. So here I have only one uh, component that is app component that is the main component and in that we have a app dot component dot ts here we will write the logic so this is the typescript uh, component and where the user will see the screen that is an html element that is a html template or html so how when a data is there in the component file how this data will be passed to the html and in the HTML, if something has been changed, how I get those data in the component? So the communication between the component and the HTML, this is called data binding. So we have different type of communication. So one communication is something like one way. That is, if I have some data, I want to display that in the HTML, that is called one way binding. So the same also. If I have some data in the HTML, if I update the, those data, if it is reflected in the TS, that is also one way binding. Two way binding means I have a title and I am displaying this title and if someone has been changed the value of the title, for example, I have an input box which title value has been assigned and if I type something in the input box, the same changes will be reflected here. So this is called two-way binding. Any change happens, the TS file and HTML, HTML file will be up to date. Okay. So that is called two-way binding. So Angular supports a two-way binding. So we can check how we have to, uh, you know, uh, how this communication between the uh, component file, TS file and HTML file is happening in Angular. So, in the previous example, I already show right, uh, this, uh, there will be a title and I have a variable. This is how we, uh, we will declare a variable uh, in the TypeScript. So, just name, then I am initializing it with the value. If I want to use this particular variable inside an HTML, you, we are using a double curly bracket. I can show you again. So double curly bracket, open, close, then variable name. This is how we will show the va variable value inside this particular HTML. We can check how the, you can see, right, the HTML world has been displayed inside this component.html. So this is what we call string interpolation. If you want to display some data from the component, to the HTML, you can use string interpolation. So we have another option called property binding. For your information, I can just note. <coughs> sorry. String interpolation is the first one that we will use this double curly brackets. So if I have a variable in the component, if I want to display that variable value inside HTML, you can use a string interpolation. The next one is like property binding. That is also used for showing a variables declared in the component variable values. Okay, so if you want to show some variable values from here to here, you can also use a property binding. But the difference is property binding is something like if any of the uh, element HTML element uh, which has some properties uh, if we want to override some properties which we are declaring in the TS then for that purpose you can use a property binding for example I have an input so type equal to text I want to show a placeholder. So, how this property binding is uh, like you can leave open curly bracket. If I want to show a title as the placeholder, I 
you can see right the hello world become the placeholder of this input element so property this is what how the structure of a property binding property binding is nothing but for an element if you want to bind some property some values to a property then we will use a property binding okay but the same situation the same thing we will be able to use as a string interpolation i can show you here a placeholder then in the title i am giving a string interpolation it has the same effect you can see right it doesn't have any difference then what is the main difference since this is a string right the title value is a string so it doesn't um, have much change when we use a property binding or a string interpolation for a uh, form elements okay but in some conditions i can show you if it is not a string value for example i'm adding a button then i am giving then one the same way i'm going to give a button is disabled equal to true okay then i'm giving to add a property called disabled as a property binding so disabled then we are able to get this variable here we can give this way okay so if i want to this is a property binding we i am using as a string interpolation as well so disabled equal to i am using this variable inside so both buttons are in a disabled state now you have you can see no difference right but let's see it if i change to false you can see only one button got enabled and one button got disabled this is what in some situations we have to use the property binding so better to use a property binding uh, instead of string interpolation if the value is not a string so in this scenario it is converting to string and it is not you know uh, it is not recognizing as a true or false so the better we have to use this one property binding this is the main difference between a property binding and the interpolation when it comes to a property of a form element okay. hope uh, you got it okay so this is the property binding structure it will be like this way okay the square brackets we are using for a property binding then i have told you about the one way communication from component to the html right so what happened if i change any values in the html is this value will be reflected in the component or ts ts that was the question right so yes we have an option called event okay so the next is called event binding property binding then event binding is also there how the event binding from the name itself you can see if some event has been happened okay so for example i have an input box if i type something in the input box that value should be for example um uh, i have a value here as a title then okay you you are aware right on by default this is the javascript on click function but in angular we have a property called on click okay
on click this is called event binding so when some events has been happened okay so on key up is there on key down is there so anything you can write it so i'm just uh, showing a click right now on click change title so if something uh, if has happened some event has been happened i need to change the value from html to the tso in order to recognize it in order to tell the component that i am changing something here okay i, I am uh, triggering some event here for changing a value in the component OTS. okay so i'm just giving a function this is how the function should be written this is how the event should be written so event uh, inside you can tell which event is and inside that uh, uh, inside that uh, double quotes you can give a function name and this function name should be implemented inside the class so this is how a function should be written here then here you can override this title equal to latest date something I have given and I am saving it let me check at the first input box so I when I click on it it has been changed to the latest value this is how from HTML to component communication right so one-way communication via string interpolation and property binding from TS to HTML. From HTML to TS, if you want to change something or to trigger a change has happened and to, I, to tell the component that some changes needs to be done as a part of this event, then we will use a event handlers. So event binding is the next thing, event binding. We will use the format open bracket open so when we binding from component to html then html to component this is how it works so is it possible to all the time we are doing this way like for uh, if i want to change the title value i have to click i have to you know trigger a function and then i have to change this way no we have an option in Langler uh, called ng model properties. We can use ng model for a two way binding. So, if I assign a value to an ng model, if anything changed in the component.ts, it will be reflected in the HTML. And if anything happened in the HTML, that will be automatically updated on the component as well. We'll have a look on it. This is called ng model. So the next thing is like two-way binding. For two-way communication between the TS and the HTML. So for that we are using a both the square and the circle. Then we have an option called ng model. For using this property, you have to import wherever you are using a ng model in the component in the html file the corresponding module you should import forms module don't ever forget it uh, forget that this is a forms module so you should import the forms module otherwise this ng model will not work it okay so the same step what we have done before I'm going to do I'm removing all the things otherwise maybe it will make more confusions okay so I'm giving ng model equal to then we have it right right So I have a hello world in the title. To 
show what is happening for this title variable i am just displaying on top of that we can see it is hello world if i type something does it change here also right so if you want to check whether here also it is changing so console dot log of title or you can write it inside ng on it i will explain you what is this console dot log is just for showing you this title is there so this dot title sorry this ng on it uh, better <laughs> you forgot this ng on it will be called only during the initial stage what i will done is wrong sorry for that okay here how can i okay on key up okay i am calling another function and just for showing you it is reflecting it is changing okay show title changes creating a function then console dot of title sorry if you are declaring a variable as title here it should mention as this dot title save it so now i have a text i have a title show title changes you can see whether it is reflecting in every places in html and the ts file okay so you can see one then two on every keyword it is reflecting in the html it is reflecting in the component.ts file also this is how ng model works it is a two way binding so this i have written only for showing it has been changing in the component.ts as well i hope uh, you understood that uh, all the different uh, three types of uh, the main this is a one type from the component to html and html to component then both way we we can use ng model but by using ng model don't forget to use a forms module that is the only thing this is how we communicate between the component business logic and the html what user is seeing so this is how it works